this is the President and Board of Trustees special meeting, number 2013-26. Uh, the date is December 10th, 2013 at 7.16 p.m. Uh, please take the roll. President Barry? Here. Trustee Carberry? Here. Trustee Vorder? Here. Trustee Streit? Yes. Trustee Quinlan? Trustee Olenichik? Here. And Trustee Desmond? Here. We have a quorum. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, this is a public hearing in regard to the proposed 2014 municipal budget. Um, I'm opening the floor. Uh, Does anyone have public comments or questions regarding the proposed 2014 municipal budget? Hi, could you come to the podium, please? Thank you. And I ask that you state your name, please, and stand right there. Thank you. My name is Joanne Spraney. Thank you. And do you live in Oakland? I don't, but I am a crossing guard. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just learned at 5 o'clock. Could you spell your name for the record? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sure. Uh, Joanne, two words, no E. Sprainy, S P like in Peter, R E Y N E. Thank you. I've been a crossing guard for five years, and I learned at five o'clock this afternoon that there was that we were going to be outsourced and privatized, and we were. Uh, we I have fellow crossing guards here with me, and uh, we were very concerned about the budget. And as I drove in tonight down 95th, which is beautiful. Oakland is a beautiful suburb. And I thought to myself, we're going to be privatized and let go, and it's savings of $1,400. And yet, there's has to be that much in lights and decorations on 95th Street. The decision to let go of the crossing guards is going to change 50 lives. There are some of us that it's not going, I'll speak, I'll speak singularly. I have a college age student. This helps with our income. And I would like to keep my job. And as I said, I will speak singularly, singularly but for the other crossing guards who will be coming in also, um, they're concerned about their pension. Thank you. Mayor. Are there? Uh, you sure, Larry, would you like to address? <coughs> Mayor, just, just for the record, the uh, budget before you tonight does not include a staffing agreement with a third party provider for crossing guards. It was a proposal that was discussed during the workshops with the board as recommended by the village manager, that's me. Um, but there wasn't a consensus among the board. So the budget that we'll be addressing tonight doesn't include that alternative. Um, <clears throat> all due respect, I'd be more than happy to meet with you and talk about the numbers. The numbers you stated are incorrect. Um, and the decision before the board um, involved a lot more monies, but it's not included at this point. It's not under consideration for the budget to be adopted. Thank you, Larry. <coughs> You're welcome. Okay, hi, please come to the podium. Thank you. And please state your name. Lynn Harris Dennis, also a crossing guard, Thank resident you. of Oak Lawn. Thank you. Can um, you spell your last name? Do you need this? Sure. We, we normally have a sign up sheet where it's written, Absolute, but we don't for not this a, meeting. Not a problem. I apologize. Yeah. H A R R I S hyphen D E N N I S. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Larry, you said you'd be willing to meet with us. When would that be? Whenever it's convenient for you, be more than happy to meet with you. So, all of us? I'll meet with as many as you'd like to uh, bring with you. Okay. Is there a date then to have this discussed and in a forum such as this so that we don't miss that? You know, we, the, the presentation I made to the board was very early on and part of a larger package looking at costs. Um, a lot of concerns also deal with, with respectfully with certain benefits for part-time employees that are really inconsistent with the the direction that the village has seen um, comparing other budgets from other communities. So we were looking at options. We went to Oak Park, and Oak Park had embarked on this program uh, from all indications very successfully. So that was the model, but there wasn't a consensus among the board. So it is not on the table. It's not included in the budget. We were looking to do the implementation for the new school year beginning in September of 2014. But I'll meet with you, uh, and I think it would be a good idea 
so I can go over the numbers and we can have a discussion. Chief of Police, myself, Roger Pulowski okay. as well. Okay. So are you, am I understanding correctly then that you're saying that this is not? Is not included. Even a, is, it's not a thing that we need to worry about for our this upcoming year? Well, or you're it, not is saying I, that? I, is, I want to be as, as clear and as respectful as I can. I often read, and we all read in the newspapers, that we were, I hear the word promise, and I hear the word something given for life. I, I don't know who, who told you that, or over the years, who made those statements, but in all fairness. Oh, I read it in the Oakland Leaf today. <laughs> Well, just so you know where you might. Yeah, Yeah. just well, you know what? I panicked. We panicked. That's why we're here. And sure, but let's. I think the good idea is to just uh, Chris or Carmi, um, Mm -hmm. my assistants, my office, call at your convenience, set up an appointment. That's good. Let's get together. Thank you. We will. Thank you. And if it's time I'm available, I'll be there too for you. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Okay, so any other comments regarding the proposed 2014 municipal budget? Okay, I'd like a motion to adjourn this special meeting, please. So moved. Properly moved by Trustee Olenichik. Second. Seconded by Trustee Desmond. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? Motion carries, and we'll resume back at 7.30. One minute warning. Ready, Jane? You ready? Yep. Good evening. It's the Board of Trustees regular meeting. It's December 10th, 2013 at 7.31 uh, p.m. This is meeting number 2013-27. Uh, Clerk Quinlan, please take the roll. President Barry? Here. Trustee Vorder? Here. Trustee Stripe? Yes. Trustee Quinlan? Here. Trustee Olenichik? Here. Trustee Desmond? Here. And Trustee Carberry? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Would everyone please uh, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We're going to open the floor at this time to pu- public comments. Uh, number one is Andy Scundrianos uh, regarding ballot questions. Uh, could you please state your name? Yeah, Andy Scundrianos. Are you an Oakland resident, sir? Uh, I think I am. Okay. Uh, 45 years. Thank I you. Think, I think. You have three um, minutes. Yeah, I'll make it quick. Um, there's a uh, ballot initiative uh, for term limits that should be voted on tonight. Uh, I'm 100% for it. Um, sadly, there's not enough um, voter participation anymore and too many career politicians at all levels. I know this is just for Oakland, but it's a start. Uh, That being said, I don't think the clerk position should have term limits, not just because I think we have the best clerk, which we do, but that would be for anybody because the position does not uh, make policy decisions, uh, doesn't vote, and is a full-time job. But that being said, I still agree with the term limits. And then the second one's about, um, I think, about arbitrators and making uh, financial awards that could cost taxpayers when it regards to union issues. That person is not responsible to the voters. To me, it's like taxation without representation. I know it's non-binding, but it's a start in this state where we got to get a little more fiscal responsibility. And I don't like arbitrators who don't live in towns telling us what to do. Then that's true with other people who don't live in town telling us what to do too. That's just my thing. I don't like that. You know, you can't vote. You don't pay taxes. You don't really have a say in it. And I don't think they should be forcing their decisions if it costs us money. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, Next is Nancy Justice Stevens. And I see from the record she is an Oakland resident. Uh, Nancy, you have three minutes. Welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And I worked with the traffic committee, the traffic review committee, to see if we can get some sign signage changes around the Oakland Library and we were able to resolve two of the issues. First one is that we will have crosswalk signs that are portable and they will be on the east and west crosswalks of the Oakland Library. 
So I just wanted to say thank you for that. And Mr. Deachin, you worked with the lighting system for the east side of the library. Thank you for doing that. Welcome. So we still have two more things to accomplish, but we do have yellow lines on the asphalt outside of the library doors, <coughs> which is supposed to have people <coughs> prohibit them from parking there. And so I would still like to see no parking signs installed at the east and west doors of the library. And thank you to the Traffic Review Committee for working with me. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, I'd like uh, Trustee Desmond to come to the podium for a special presentation. Um, item four on the agenda is the 2013 fall on the green contribution to Park Lawn. And I understand we have some folks from Park Lawn here as well. Could you come to the podium, please? I'd like to wel welcome everybody here from Park Lawn and uh, on behalf of the Special Events Committee. Now, I would also like to um, include on in this, but I don't see them here, uh, Steve Barrett, Dee Adesiak, and Brian Hennigan. Brian, maybe you could come up here too. You did a, a lot of work on this. <laughs> um, Park Lawn, I, I was trying to think of what I could say about Park Lawn, and the best thing I can do is their own mission statement, their own philosophy, and this is what they say. We believe that people with disabilities earnestly wish to live a normal life. They want to go to school, hold a job that truly needs to be done, a place to live comfortably, and they want a full and active social life. Within this context, Park Lawn provides adult development training vocational services, supported employment, residential opportunities, and recreational activities. All are backed with professional staff support. So I'd like to present this check. Brian? Wanna... This thing is you're the finance guy. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of Oak Lawn, Check for uh, nineteen thousand one hundred sixty-three dollars and ninety-seven cents. Right. All right. So, a, a special thank you to all the people in the special events committee. Now, would Pat Lawn like to say something? Thank you very much. It's always a wonderful night. Uh, on behalf of um, our organization. On behalf of the families and individuals that we touch, we would like to thank the elected officials of Oak Lawn. We would like to thank the employees of Oak Lawn. And most of all, we would like to thank the citizens of Oak Lawn for this wonderful consideration that you have given to our organization. Um, in these times, we not only definitely appreciate the money, we definitely appreciate the money because it will go towards providing services for those that in need, but also the fall in the green um, through the contact that we have with so many wonderful individuals, the volunteers that we provide, the parents and the individuals that help sell, sell chances. It's a wonderful reaffirmation of the pride that we have to serve the community, to have someone up and come up and say, yes, we know Park Lawn. We know somebody who has been served and we think that it's great. We want to continue to be good, good citizens. We want to continue to add to this, this community. And again, we thank you ever so much. And I could talk up here for quite a long time for about a lot of different things, but I think that again, it always pales in comparison when we have uh, some of the folks that we, we serve maybe say, say a little thing over here too. But I'd like to have you welcome Fran DeFogio, Joyce Oleski, Cindy Kriz, and also Chris Saylor, who are partake in our services. Uh, Adrian is one of our staff members, and John is our board, John Perry is our board president, longtime, lifelong resident of Oak Lawn, who has a brother in his program. And what I'd like for you to do is, uh, Chris Saylor, do you have something to say to these folks? 
Yeah, Park Lawn would like to wish the residents of Oak Lawn a safe and happy holiday season. Thank you very much. And maybe, maybe this is spontaneous if you join me. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much and Merry Thank Christmas. You. And and because we know you have business at hand, we're gonna exit stage left right here. <laughs> Thank you all. Don't forget your big check now. Uh, which, at which, at which big bank in Oakland will they accept this over here? Or or should we take it out of out of town somewhere? I don't know. Thank you all so much. You did a fine job. You did a wonderful job, Chris. And thank you, Trustee Desmond, for your leadership also uh, as special events uh, uh, liaison. So, uh, item five on the agenda is conflict of interest disclosure. Uh, does any item any uh, Anyone on this board tonight have any conflicts of interest to disclose to any item on this agenda? Okay, moving on. Item six. This is an approval of meeting minutes for the special meeting minutes 2013-23, dated November 26, 2013. May I have a motion on item six, please? Motion to approve. Properly moved by Trustee Vorder. Second. Seconded by Trustee Carberry. Any discussion on this item? Please take the roll. Trustee Vorder. Yes. Trustee Strait? Yes. Trustee Quinlan? Yes. Trustee Olenichuk? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Item 7 on the agenda is the approval of meeting minutes for the regular meeting minutes 2013-24, dated November 26, 2013. May I have a motion on item 7, please? Motion to approve. Properly moved by Trustee Carberry? Second. Seconded by Trustee Quinlan. Any discussion? Please take the roll. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Trustee Strait? Yes. Trustee Quinlan? Yes. Trustee Olenichuk? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Item 8 on the agenda is a motion to approve after the Board of Trustees in executive session on November 12, 2013, reviewed for release of closed me meeting minutes from April 10, 2008, June 14, 2010, all closed meeting minutes for 2011 and 2012, and all closed meeting minutes in 2013 through July 9th, 2013, that the need for confidentiality still exists. We have a motion, please, on item eight. Motion to approve. Properly moved by Trustee Desmond. Second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Second. Seconded by Trustee Quinlan. Any discussion on this item? Please take the roll. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Trustee Strait? Yes. Trustee Quinlan? Yes. Trustee Olenichuk? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Motion passes. Thanks. We're going to move on to District uh, 1 with new business by Village Trustees. Uh, Trustee Desmond, how's... Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, <clears throat> real quick, I would like to remind all uh, high school seniors and recent graduates from Oak Lawn that there will be um, five of the local trade unions doing an apprenticeship presentation at Oak Lawn High School Thursday morning at 9.30. They will be explaining to um, everyone how their apprenticeships works and they will be taking applications for apprentices. Um, other than that, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy and peaceful New Year. Thank you. Thank you. In District 2, Trustee Olenichek. Just two quick things. Uh, I have an update on the school speed zone. Uh, there are some scheduled meetings with uh, representatives uh, Kelly Burke and uh, Cunningham from uh, the uh, state reps to discuss school speed zones. I know that uh, our attorney that handles the speeding cases in the local court did talk to the uh, chief judge, and, and I believe that uh, there is going to be a little bit uh, heavier of an eye looked upon anybody in the school speed zone uh, in the village of Oak Lawn. I know that that's been something that, uh, since we do have some crossing guards in the back, that it's a, it, it's, it's a big issue, and, and I know that that's something that we're continuing to work on. Uh, secondly, it is that time of the year. We did get hit with our first snow. Uh, I'm happy to say that we were able to take care of some se seniors, but we weren't able to take care of all the seniors. There is still an abundance of need. If anybody, all throughout Oak Lawn, if anybody would like to take on a house or help in their neighborhood, they can contact uh, Officer Pacetti at 
499-7880 or email them at jpacetti at oaklawn slash il.gov or they can contact myself at 708-774-7355 or email me at a-o-l-e-j-n-i-c-z-a-k <laughs> at oaklawn slash il.gov. Um, I, I do want to let you know that uh, being out there in the street, it does make a big difference. Uh, I can't tell that we do still get seniors that call up and say, well, it stopped snowing. I expect my snow to be done in the morning. Uh, but we do rely upon uh, volunteers that uh, have work or have school or have both. Um, and please be patient. Uh, it isn't a perfect process, but at least we are making a difference. And every year we seem to come up, especially during the very big snows when it's the three to six inches plus and help out the residents. So if you can spare any time in the neighborhood, it'd be greatly appreciated. And we will have an abundance of college kids coming home. So if you'd like to give your college students some extra time out in the village, please have them contact me. I will always find something for them to do. Thank you. I'd like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year. Thank you. That concludes my report. Thank you. And how's things in District 3, Trustee I would just Street? like to wish everybody also a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year as well. That's all. Thank you. Okay. District 4, Trustee Border. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, yesterday I went over to the Walgreens store to pick up my uh, weather radio. Two days into the program and they're gone. They're sold out. And the program's supposed to go to December 31st, so I was quite upset. I identified myself and said that if the radios weren't in by this board meeting, I was not going to be nice to Walgreens. Got a call this morning, they got 20 cases of radios. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Walgreens on top of it. <laughs> but I, I, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to the people of Oakland. And peace on earth to our fellow board members here. <laughs> That's all I have, Madam President. Thank you. District 5, uh, Trustee Quinlan. Uh, yes, I have uh, one small item. Uh, several meetings ago, the mayor had uh, brought up at the meeting uh, to talk about that she has a blog. Well, with going on the blog, uh, the village's address and phone number is listed on there. And reading her articles, uh, they are definitely personal attacks. It's political garbage. And my question is to council, is that even legal to put the villages on a blog that is not a village blog, it's, it's political, and can the village's phone number and address be on it? I'm not familiar with the blog. Um, I went on it because I thought it would just be about village news, and it's not. There's personal attacks, and I would like to see if we can have that removed, unless the mayor will do that at my request. I it, is not a it is not an Oakland Everything block. on there is factual. My name is on it, and it, people have a right to know what their That's mayor's fine, position but is. That's fine, you need to remove the... Uh, I will state my the phone number. I will state my my feelings on issues, and I am the mayor, and I, I stand by. Uh, that's how my constituents reach me. Well, when when the mayor brings this up at a public board meeting and promotes her own blog, and has the village email or village phone number and address, I would like an opinion on. Are that. you concerned about the uh, the article on there where? It, it I'm outlined. Not discussing any of the particular articles. Well, if you're alleging things, you should be specific. No, so I'm, I'm just saying that I would like to have the phone number. You can have your cell phone on there if mm -hmm. you feel so. But I do not feel that the address and the phone number of the village. Thank you for your not, feedback. This is not in in a huh. village block. Was it the article on your 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 move to cut I'm, senior my spending? Is done. My okay. Okay, so uh, even though you make allegations, you have nothing to substantiate them, and you you Mayor, decide. I'm done. You know, I'm not done, Carol. My trustee, name is trustee, uh, trustee Quinlan, to you. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you, Carol. Um, thank you, Mayor. Um, just Merry Christmas, everyone. Again, have a safe and a happy uh, Christmas with your families. Wonderful message. Thank you. 
Okay, we are moving on to item 10, village manager's report. Uh, Larry, you have item A, general village man matters. Um, Mayor, I have nothing more to report than um, echo the thoughts of the board and the trustees 